Ask Reddit by the real Houdat. What's the craziest thing you've overheard on a plane? The lady beside me told me that she was farting a lot, and she didn't care about telling me because she wouldn't see me again. I wish I had that woman's confidence mayo. A 5 year old boy once said that, can you ask them to pull over so I can go to the toilet? Haha. <laughs> That's adorable. I once overheard a kid who must have been 8-10 ask his dad. Boy, how long would the layover be? Dad, 2 hours. Boy, but how long is the it? Dad, oh. There was this kid was behind me that kept telling her dad she lost her tooth and the dad was disgruntledly trying to find it, and some guy nearby said hey kid, I hear if you lose your tooth on a plane, the tooth fairy gives you 50 bucks to which the dad replied, hey look sweetie, the tooth fairy decided to sit next to us on the plane. Mwahaha. Everyone is boarded and the plane is in the middle of the taxi when a kid about 10 seats up and on the left side. I was on right side, starts crying and screaming at the top of his lungs I need to poop and I'm going to poop over and over again until the seat belt signs came off. I've never seen so many worried faces and the look of panic as the mother picked up the kid and bolted to the toilet. I was sitting behind this cute toddler and her dad one flight and while we were landing, she wouldn't sit down. She was turned around in her seat staring at me. Her dad was calming telling her to sit down while we land and she looks me straight in the eyes and goes I can't, I'm pooping. I am a pilot for a major airline. Decades ago I was running for a deadhead flight home and managed to snag the last seat. A mother and young daughter were seated next to me. Halfway through the flight the mother, seeing my disheveled look after flying all day, asked if I wanted her daughter's PB and damp. J sandwich that she wasn't going to eat. I politely declined, but she insisted. That was the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I'd ever had. This is my favorite one of the entire thread. Not that crazy as such but when literally about to touch down, a lady got up and started walking urgently towards the bathroom. The cabin crew immediately started saying madam. We're about to land. You have to sit down. The lady responded by screaming in a panic I'm gonna shit me self. They allowed her to continue. I was recently on a flight where, about 45 minutes before landing, long, international flight, I got up to pee and overheard a flight attendant say one of the bathrooms had been occupied for a while. As we were about to land, I heard the flight attendant say, Sweetie, I can get you a ginger ale, and we are about to land, so just hold on tight. I was sitting next to a father with his small child. The child wouldn't stop hopping around, until the father said sit still and be a good boy or the plane will crash because of you and we will end up dying. Never seen a kid so quiet before. Nothing better for helping your child decide to behave than saddling them with the responsibility for a hundred or so strangers lives. Way too late for anyone to see this and it wasn't so much overheard as said to me. I was flying alone and this little girl, maybe five, wandered down the aisle and said hello. I asked where her parents were and she said they died and a police officer was flying with her to take her to her aunt. My brain was not able to conjure any response at all apart from air, sorry she asked if she could look out my window so I moved over to the aisle seat and let her, me continuously looking for a cop that she might be traveling with. She then told me how her parents were driving back from a party last week and their car got pushed off the road by a truck into a tree. She was quietly crying while telling me this story. Suddenly I hear oh there you are from the aisle. There's a woman standing there. The girl says hello mommy and leaves with her. What a little psycho. On a charter flight from Goa to the UK. He's taking ecstasy, and he has a knife in his bag, said an old couple to the stewardess, referring to me. I said, I don't have a knife, I'm taking Valium. I just want to go to sleep. Stewardess believed me and amp. 
move the couple. To be fair, you were coming from Goa. On the other hand, taking X on a flight sounds like it would be a terrible waste. Pilot accidentally left the intercom switch on. The whole plane heard him say oh oh oh. That's weird. Nothing else. Plane took off amid varying levels of anxiety throughout the cabin. I'm here to tell the tale today, so thankfully it wasn't too weird. Captain and Defo were probably laughing their asses off. Hey Bob, watch this. I had a seat near the lavatory. Some poor bastard was in a rush to use it, and once he got inside, it sounded like he fired up a chainsaw followed by some alarming gurgling, gushing noises. It took a while for him to come out, but he seemed okay. If this was a return flight from Dominican Republic then, I'm sorry, food poisoning was pretty much the motto of that trip. A guy coming home early to bust her cheating wife. He was on the phone with a friend family who told him the other guy was at his house ABD they didn't expect him back until the next week. Happened to me. I got rebooked on an earlier flight and came home about 5 hours earlier than expected. Wasn't my wife yet, just my fiancé. Worked out for the best for me. We both knew it wasn't working out anyway. She then married the guy and he treated her terribly. Turns out he had a cargo ship of psychological problems he kept well hidden. It took her several years to get the divorce to go through and get their finances entangled because he dragged it out as long as he possibly could. Not something I overheard but a friend was telling me he was on the flight between Stockholm Thailand, either from to, and there were two old guys openly talking bragging about all the shit they had done with young boys whilst in Thailand. God that's horrible. I overheard a passenger passionately arguing with their seatmate about the correct way to eat a slice of pizza with chopsticks. What is the correct way? Edit, wow this is my most upvoted comment ever, THX for the fun responses people, D. A small child once told me that she had to fix the plane by lifting the armrest up and down. She also called me a dog-headed boy girl. Roasted. This is the first one that really made me laugh. We're running late but I'm gonna fly it like I stole it. Coolest pilot ever. I was sat next to a teenage boy and his dad. The kid was telling his dad how much he loved the song Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. When the kid was finally done talking the dad just looked at him and said you're a virgin. Nothing too crazy. A couple in their 50s who were all over each other, like tongues and ears, hands and pants etc. They were busy working out the logistics of their next getaway. They were both cheating on their partners and laughing at how gullible their souls were believing another business trip would come up so soon. Partners were probably thinking thank fuck they are going away again and then proceeded to invite their other lovers around. Sat next to a college guy once who, while drinking some alcoholic beverages, started crying and telling me he killed his best friend in a drunk driving accident. Because he had good lawyers he got off woe jail time. He was sobbing and drinking. When we landed I made sure he was not driving. Imagine an hour after landing you see him again and he goes like hello, I am your Uber driver. Not so much what he said, but I sat next to this fully grown man that was playing Plants vs Zombies the whole 3 hour flight with incredible enthusiasm. Every time a plant got eaten or he killed a difficult zombie he'd jump in his seat, pump his fist and aggressively whisper yes, yes, get em yes. To be fair that game rocks. And so do drugs apparently. I was flying to Seattle from Atlanta and there was a baby crying for the majority of the flight. The parents were doing their best and it really was not their fault, just a shitty situation. About halfway to Seattle, the man seated in front of the baby snapped and started screaming at the baby and his parents, cursing at them saying how they're awful parents and he's gonna beat them all, including the baby, to a pulp when they land. A flight attendant tried to ask the guy to calm down and he said he would also beat her up. The pilot had to come on and tell everyone to calm down or else we had to make an early landing. 
We made it to Seattle and the guy ended up having to be tackled by four cops at the gate because he was trying to run away after being approached by them. I was on a flight that had a similar thing happen. Some business dude snapped, stood up, and yelled at the parents to shut the kid up. You could immediately feel the vibe of 20 plus people being pissed off at the business dude. A big biker dude stood up behind him and calmly explained how the babies can't equalize the pressure in their ears like adults can and are in pain the entire time. After explaining it, he told him to STFU and sit down, and he did lol. Two Mormon missionaries trying to convert the sweet, naive man sitting between them the entire flight. I once tried to be nice to two missionaries that showed up to my house. I sat outside and talked to them asking questions for about an hour because I thought people would likely be rude to them. I wanted to be nice. Then they kept sending people to my house over and over again and they wouldn't leave me alone. I kinda get why people just go no thanks and slam the door in their face. I've told you many times Brenda, I am not shaving my balls. It's my balls and I'm a man. Sometimes, that's Brenda's way of saying she wants to suck on them. He's 17 my dad, to the flight attendant who was about to serve me a jack and amp, coke instead of the coke I had asked for. Killjoy. When I was 12, we went to a Mexican restaurant. We were not too well off, so it was a treat. My mom even let me order a non-alcoholic daiquiri daiquiri. It came normal, told my mom. She took a sip and said yeah well, don't tell anyone. We aren't cleared to taxi at the moment. We should be taking off within an hour. My husband once fell asleep when we got on the plane as we were taxiing for takeoff. He woke up two hours later thinking we'd just landed, nope still taxiing. I was sitting next to a dad and his daughter who was about 5. He was super cool and was chatting away while his daughter started talking to me. She was so sweet and bubbly. And gave way I I to much information to me. She said something along the lines of I went to my grandma and grandpa's house and they are married. I wish my dad would marry my mom but they can't talk to each other but I always wish they were married like my grandma and grandpa. Her dad would have been horrified. And I was just sad. My son did something similar. Me and Ad are, their last name, and mum is a, my last name, mum doesn't have a penis. Thanks kid. I was flying so low into Orlando. The woman next to me was so excited about her new boyfriend's boat and was going on and fucking on about how excited she was for this trip. I nodded and put my headphones in and about one minute later, she grabbed the cord on my headphone and pulled it out of my ear so she could blather on about it. I asked her if she had lost her motherfucking mind. Have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it. Some guy told his partner that she didn't need more yarn and every woman in earshot promptly told him how wrong he was. Yarn? You mean... There's a bomb on the plane. It's going to go off at... Insert time here. As the time he said approached... 10, 9, 8. The police were waiting for him when we got there. If I have one rule about air travel, it's don't make jokes around security people. Before takeoff, after the doors were closed, a kid of about 6 stroke 7 years old towards the front of the plane stood up on his seat, faced the rest of the plane and yelled we're all gonna DE while his parents tried to pull him back down. He's not wrong. Nervous passenger, excuse me. How often do planes crash? Flight attendant, only once. That's hilarious. Once I was nervous flying on a plane, and I apologized to the man next to me that I might be a little fidgety for that reason. He said I know what will make you feel better and proceeded to show me a video of him playing guitar for a group of deer. It stunned me out of my nerves to say the least. That's really heartwarming. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been facing some strong headwinds and, 
It appears we burned up a little more fuel than we anticipated so we will be making a diversion to Fiji. This was flying from the US to Australia in a 747. I had seen on the trip map that we had been flying in the wrong direction for like 2 plus hours. When we did land we landed hard and they told us that because of the landing we had to sit on the ground with the engines off in Fiji in the summer while technicians looked at the plane. When we were airborne again, our destination was fogged out and we diverted from Sydney to Melbourne. I don't ever want to spend 26 hours on a plane again. OHH. I got this one. Passenger W is struggling to get his luggage into the overhead compartment and passenger E seated next to me starts getting upset. W's carry-on clearly doesn't fit. E speaks up saying to be careful because his luggage is there. Flight attendant comes over and says passenger W needs to check his bag. W grows increasingly disturbed, but it works out. Then W says to the flight attendant I'm sorry, it's just that I haven't taken my medication. I get so nervous with all these body bags on board. You know I have body parts in my luggage. Passenger E turns to me and says, did you hear that? I just have a laptop in my luggage. That last bit with passenger E absolutely killed me. Once I was flying at night and 90% of passengers were sleeping. Suddenly stewardess with poker face ran down the aisle with small fire extinguisher in her hands. I think almost nobody noticed and that made it kinda funny, but it was still scary, she was really running for her life. Sitting next to a young woman and her boyfriend on a flight about to depart to San Diego. They were going for a romantic getaway, and apparently she decided to find God on the way to the airport. What did that mean? Well, she decided that they weren't having any more sex until he married her, but kissing, hand holding and other PG rated intimacy were perfectly okay. Boyfriend tried his best not to flip out, but you could tell he was very agitated. An hour later we're in the air and they are both awkwardly sitting there without saying a word. She gasps and starts crying rather loudly. Apparently he logged into the plane's Wi-Fi, cancelled the hotel and booked himself a turnaround flight home. Pretty sure they were done as well. Sounds like she was trying to manipulate him into proposing on the vacation. Obviously they had different takes on their relationship status. Have a buddy who's flown many many times and is comfortable with it, but he said one time he heard an older, 80s. Lady talking about how easy it would be for her to sneak a bomb on the plane. She apparently went into detail with her gals about how exactly she would do it. He said he didn't really worry BC it sounded like she was joking but it made him uneasy because of how simple she made it sound lol. Might be illegal. I know it's illegal to joke about that with airline or airport employees, but I dk about private parties. Mullen Brando got kicked off a plane for joking about Cuba. I commented another story elsewhere but I got a good one someone must have overheard. Sat next to this girl on a flight to Florida and she started talking to me. Turns out she was flying down to get into porn before she joined the navy, wanted to live a little before joining the navy. It was a wild conversation. I told her to be careful and asked her if someone knew exactly where she was going and stuff just in case, they didn't, so she texted her friend the info. Got off the plane and a like 40 year old guy and lady were waiting for her at the luggage drop with camera equipment and were documenting picking her up from the luggage claim. It was really weird. I think they made a documentary about some porn house down there that sounded a lot like the place she was going but I have no clue if it was. I was just on an international flight and the dude sitting behind me was talking to another woman. She asked him why he was in Europe and he said it was for a UN summit, or something. Then she asked him if there was any good news that came out of that, he just sighed and said no. Delayed for some issue. I hear banging on what I assume is a luggage door underneath. After several minutes I hear fuck it we'll fix it in Pittsburgh. A flight attendant that hit on two women for the entirety of the flight. Like skipped handing out snacks and drinks, other flight attendants were clearly pissed at him. He performed a couple very subpar magic tricks, gave them free alcohol. 
The two women were clearly not feeling it, but enjoyed the free stuff. Cherry on top was when we started the descent. He pulled out a harmonica and played a little tune for them. Yo, are those snakes okay back there? Two guys next to me gloating to each other about how they brutally beat their wife and kids. Then they went on to discuss what would be a reasonable cause to murder them, like if they cheated or stole from you or something. They were giggling like schoolchildren. They definitely did not realize I spoke Spanish and probably thought I couldn't understand them. Edit, I was like 14 stroke 15, there was no way I had the balls to say anything to those guys or report anything. Absolutely disturbing and psychos, revolting they acted like it was normal to talk about and laugh about it WTFFFF. The absolute mayhem that broke out when the captain announced that we were in fact not gonna get to take off because of night air traffic restrictions at our destination after we had been sitting and waiting in the aircraft for two hours already. That entire evening was just a great mess. First we had to wait for a flight attendant who was called from standby, then we finally got to board the plane, but apparently the airline had a severe ground staff shortage so there was no one to get the luggage onto the plane. When the luggage was there we didn't have a tow, then the captain told us we wouldn't get landing clearance at our destination but that we couldn't deplay neither, because, well, ground staff shortage, and the only guy who was allowed to attach the jet bridge was busy with other planes, so we sat there for another 2 hours, absolute horror for the flight attendants, cause people were aging and didn't understand that the airline employees pn the plane had nothing to do with rescheduling compensation or the reasons for this mess in general. I actually kinda enjoyed the whole thing, turned out to become a little adventure, I got to transfer to another airport in the city, spent the night there and flew out with a better airline the next morning, paid by the original airline plus cancellation compensation, but man poor flight attendants. This isn't crazy but it's definitely the most fun I've had on a plane. This guy introduced himself as Caribbean boy, chatted with nearly everyone on the plane, asked them what their plans were, complimented everyone, then started singing, Bob Molly type stuff. He had most of the passengers clapping along, everyone was smiling. Most charismatic man I have met. I hate that I've grown so cynical. But whenever I see people like this, the super charismatic type, I always think they are up to something or hiding something and I try to avoid them at all costs. Passenger 1 I can't wait to get there, this party is gonna be insane. Passenger 2 did you hear, Jose said his estranged wife is gonna be there. Passenger 1 why is she estranged? Passenger 2 because she's strange, and he's Mexican. This is my favorite one so far. On an Aegean flight from Athens, and a baby toddler kicked apparently was repeatedly kicking the guy's chair in front of him the guy got up and was angry, threatened to kill the baby. The other father yelled back threatened to press charges, and they were yelling and ready to fight. They had to be separated. The flight continued and by the end of the trip, they apologized and it was resolved. A two hour domestic argument circling around the man's arrogance and the woman's bitchiness. They were told before takeoff if they didn't cut their shit they'd be kicked off the plane, and they did until about 20 minutes after takeoff, then they were just bitching at each other the entire flight. They were going to Croatia to see the man's homeland as he called it, but I got the impression this was a recent revelation as she kept correcting him on his own family history. Your grandpa wasn't from Dumbas. He was from. I wanted the plane to crash. When I was 16 I was taking a flight from Oslo to Stockholm, around 45 minutes. Before liftoff, the guy in front of me, around 30 years old, broke up with his GF who sat next to me. They yelled so much and loudly during that flight I had the worst headache when we landed. Why not just wait 45 minutes? Edit. Wow. 1k up votes. Thank you. Please. I took you back. You know it. I know it. Vegetable lasagna here knows it. Flying domestic us. 
Two oldish ladies spent the whole flight talking about how ugly my husband is, in French. I guess they assumed no one could speak it. We can. Did you call them out?